Cheryl, Cheryl, um, Cheryl is everything and more I could have ever wished for. Um, she's beautiful, kind, funny, generous, great with my family and friends, and receptive to my crappy jokes. <laughs> Don't go back on your default, baby, I know it hurts. Okay, very far, though. You can probably do one person. Hey. Actually, before I get into verbally abusing you, seriously, I want to thank the parents. Eric, Norma, Marshall, Christine, and you, Sirius and Cheryl, for throwing a first-class batch. Thank you. Cheers to that. And, I, and again, before I really get into my brother here, I'm going to I'm share a story about how Cheryl and I first met. It was, I think it was December of 2007. We, uh, my family, as well as my wife's, the Livingston family, we rent a beach house every year in, in Manhattan Beach. And uh, that particular year was actually the first year we ever did it. So we had this big old huge house and uh, Sears said, oh yeah, I'm going to bring this girl. I've just, just started dating her. Went, oh, this is great. You're going to bring some tart. It's going to be awkward. <laughs> really? You're going to bring her to a family reunion? Come on, please. <laughs> Love is a temporary madness. It erupts like volcanoes and then subsides. And when it subsides, you have to make a decision. You have to work out whether your roots are so entwined together that it is inconceivable that you should ever be apart. Because that is what love is. Love is not breathlessness. It is not excitement. It is not the declaration of eternal passion. That is just being in love, which any fool can do. Needless to say, Sears ran off to the airport, picked up Cheryl and brought her back to the beach. And she was not a tart, not awkward. She was effortless, a delight to be around. And actually that week, Cheryl, you in my eyes became a part of our family. Only today, it, I'm thrilled to say it really became official. And you can all share it. Love is itself what is left over when being in love has burned away. And this is both an art and a fortunate accident. Those that truly love have roots that grow towards each other underground. And when all the pretty blossoms have fallen from their branches, they find that they're... <laughs> they're one tree and not two. 